was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> a little blue box of goodness. <laughs> Craft, you Craft. have my heart. Well, so we're going to do uh, malts from the light biscuity sweetness of the pale ale to the rich caramel and nuttiness of a brown and the bold chocolate and coffee notes of a stout. And we're off to our flavor adventure. Now you know what's coming up. You're welcome. Cheers and bites. Hey everybody, I cannot wait to do today's beer and food pairing. We're going with the super classic, everyone has in their household. We've got three beers we're going with and what's the food? Mac and cheese. It's not poisonous before you eat it. Mm. I think it's good. It hasn't killed me yet. Let's go take this to the table and test it with some beer. So this amber ale has this beautiful copper color to it. it has this incredibly satisfying aroma, deeply in part to those slightly roasted malts. Um, What's cool about this uh, this amber ale is it really lets the malt shine without the hops really overpowering to it. So I'm really excited to see how this is going to taste with the mac and cheese. Oh yeah. That slightly roasty, a little bit bready, nice malty really complements the creamy cheesiness of the mac and cheese. It's almost like they were made for each other. All right, guys, so I got the brown ale, specifically a nut brown ale that I'm going to pair with mine. Really excited to see how the nuttiness goes with the different cheeses. A lot of vegan cheeses actually are based in, like, nuts and cashews and whatnot. So I think that's going to complement each other really, really well and really elevate and make the cheese the hero even more than it already is in mac and cheese. Because I like to shovel food in my mouth, I am going to use a spoon. Totally, the, the the nuttiness in the cheese makes the cheese does make it makes it basically not taste like powdered cheese. It actually tastes like kind of a homemade mac. Uh, it's really bringing that up together. Uh, it's chilling out the bitterness in the beer, so those are really complementing each other well. And honestly, considering I got a little one and a half year old and I eat mac and cheese all the time, this is a great way to elevate it at home. All right, last but not least, for our malt profile, we have the Stout Classic Guinness. Um, it's going to exemplify flavors of roasty, chocolatey, dry, it should have a creamy mouthfeel. Really excited and intrigued to see how this is gonna pair with our mac and cheese. You had pause the Guinness? Look at that dark, almost black color that the stout is giving us. I'm totally excited. It's gonna to bring a whole new dimension to our pairing. 
It's almost like a gourmet mac and cheese. It's like these deep, dark chocolate notes with the roastiness, with the bitterness. It's, it's contrasting but complementary at the same time, kind of harmonious with the creaminess of the cheese. Much better than I thought going into it. Out of this world, totally recommend. Can't believe how much the malt flavors just like so differently elevated this dish. All right, yes, this was a great way to elevate a really, really simple dish uh, with not adding any extra complexity, just adding what beers you probably already have around in the fridge, right? The, the malts of your amber, of your ale here, are really gonna help elevate the cheese and the sweetness, uh, also cutting down on some of the bitterness. The nuttiness of the brown really made a big punch with the, the cheese in itself and really made the cheese the hero. Uh, kind of had to eat it at the same time, like eat and drink at the same time. Uh, personal favorite by far was gonna be the stout here. Uh, it really just made this taste like this incredible elaborate cheese that was on here uh, and just completely took it to a whole other level. Like I will be doing this pairing hands down. So remember when pairing beer with food, it's all about finding that balance and complementing flavors, even more so on the most simplest of dishes. So we're so happy that you joined us on this malt adventure with us today to take even the most simple of the simplest of dishes onto a totally elevated level. So that wraps up our tasty little treat of an episode on brews and bites. And we got to explore the different malt profiles and how they elevate your favorite craft mac and cheese. Crack, crack. Each bite should have been more enjoyable than the next, but uh, that's just us. We really like mac and cheese. We really like yeah. dissecting the malt profiles of these beers. So we hope you enjoyed it yeah. as well. I enjoy eating craft mac and cheese with the largest spoon I can find in the house and just I think, I'll, so I love your little kiddo very much, but I think one of my favorite parts is I also have a ladle that I use to eat yeah. mac and you gotta cheese You got to make with. sure it's not poisonous after you cook it, you know? Exactly, right? And We're the humble eat, servants to the queen. She can eat about a half a box of mac and cheese, which is great because I can down. eat a whole box. Yeah. So she's helping me out. I'm helping her Eaten out. so much more Kraft mac and cheese this last year and a half than I have <laughs> the last noticed, decade. If you've stocks have went up in the craft industry. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, you know, we, we wanted to take a little bit of a twist, so we hope you enjoyed this adventure of... Keeping it simple. Yeah, it's like simple, but maybe a little bit like additionally educational, yeah. simple. Any and everybody can do this. You yeah. don't have to have this elaborate meal, which we love cooking, so you're going to still get elaborate meals because we have a lot of fun with it. But, yeah. you know, it's simple and understanding how the malts can affect food at a low risk. And you just get to play around and have a couple beers, right? Like, there's two, three, four of you just open a can bottle and then split it. You don't have to drink the whole one to yourself. Right. So exactly. it, it's, it's a great way to explore moderation while you also explore your brews and bites. <laughs> Bring it back, baby. Yeah, let's yeah. go. Let's go. So if you love this segment, please sure, please ensure to like and subscribe for more delicious pairings. And also, as we always have back here in the background, we should just open the scene with these just hovering. Liz wrote a lovely beer basics pairing book, which will give you more ways to explore how beers and food and everything goes together and makes things freaking delicious. And it doesn't say basic just because basic is an easy word to throw on a title because it's pretty basic. Simple things like mac and cheese. Yeah. And just how it, how it elevates. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all so, about yeah. the elevated experience. Elevated experience. <laughs>